Hey everybody, it's Lyra, and I am doing this video as I do annually just to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you for making my birthday wish come true. Um, this one, this year is so special because I actually didn't ask for any um, birthday donations or anything that could help us to feed the homeless. This was an undertaking that my children and I were able to do on our own this year, and I. I'm like monumentally blessed because of that. Um, however, there was an outpour of participants and donors and we even got our first corporate donor this year so shout out to Tim Hortons for helping making my birthday wish come true. Um, we were able to bless dozens of Detroit homeless this year um, with a hot meal and some words of, words of encouragement. Um, one thing though that sticks out a lot um, this year, of all the years that I've done this. This year was the year that I encountered the most homeless children. And it was a very sobering moment because, um, you know, there wasn't anything that these kids did to cause their circumstance. You know, life simply happens. And it's, it's not anything that they did to cause it. And right now, as children, there's not anything they can do to fix it. So, um, I encourage you guys to open up your homes. If you're able, if you're in a position to become a foster parent or an adoptive parent, then consider it. You know, if not, then um, there's nothing wrong with just reaching out or volunteering in shelters or becoming a mentor or a counselor. There are so many things that you can do that will have an impact in the lives of these youths. Because, again, there's not, there's not anything that they did to cause this misfortune you know it's just um it's just where they are right now and we got to remember when we see homeless children or a homeless man or woman they're not just people you know under the viaduct they're not just somebody holding up a sign they're people like you and me you know they have purpose they have dreams they have hopes aspirations they have a soul just like you and I do so um even if it's no more than a word of prayer you know nothing is too small nothing is insignificant when it comes to blessing these people. Um, the Each each One Reach One um, project. I initiated a few days ago the Each One Reach One project where um, the challenge was that instead of having your you know one or two plates at Thanksgiving no. Instead of having your three or four plates at Thanksgiving that instead you have maybe two or three and take the last plate and bless a homeless person with a hot meal for Thanksgiving. It was really easy. It was really, um, it made a huge impact. I got a lot of text messages, picture messages of people blessing other people with their hot meals and it was just, it was, it was incredible. For future reference though, I don't need to see it. If you tell me that you blessed somebody, I believe you. Alright, um, oh, we have two video crashers that wanted me to give them a minute to say something so come on in guys and before they take over the camera I just want to say thank you thank you thank you again you guys are so dope you made my Chris my, my birthday wish just greater than I could have ever imagined so thank you again thank you and thank you and I'm losing the camera now thank you for making my mama birthday wish come true thank you guys for making my mom's birthday wish come true Thank you guys for making my birthday wish come true. You are the super duper, ultra, uber dopest people I know. And you are a blessing from God, each and every one of you. So thanks again. I love you. I appreciate you. God bless you and peace out.